Hello everyone, my name is Ken Garofalo, and in today's video, we will be explaining how to find a good Tezos Baker using mytezosbaker.com. Tezos is a unique proof-of-stake blockchain. By participating in the proof-of-stake mechanism, users can be rewarded greater than 5.5% interest per year. This is payable in XTZ in cycles of roughly 2.5 days. This does compound as the payments hit your account. This process is called baking. The great thing about Tezos baking is that the barrier to entry is quite low and easily accessible by anyone. All you need to do is own some XTZ, select a good baker to delegate your stack to, and then start collecting the dividend interest. This process can be done simply by sending XTZ to a KT1 account pointed at your selected baker. Sounds easy, right? Well, for the most part, it is. There are a few details that must be reviewed when picking a good baker, and that's where mytezosbaker.com comes in. Let's pop on over to their site and review what they have to offer in more detail. And as we first arrive to mytezosbaker.com, we can see the site has a great user interface. Everything is really nicely aligned and has a clean design. So first, let's go over the headers on the top of the list here. So right off the bat, we can see uh, they're in a list here ranking, uh, descending from one on downward. And we have the names of the bakers as well. It looks like some of them are listed as premium. Possibly this is uh, a paid positioning. And then we have statistics that are very important, such as the fee these bakers are charging. So this is a percentage of you, the rewards you generate by delegating towards these bakers. They're going to keep a percentage of those rewards as a fee. So this is important. Uh, to know what kind of return you're going to be getting is going to be factored based on this fee. So we also want to see a uh, longevity score. So this would be a baking since. So as we know, Tezos goes in cycles. Cycles are roughly two and a half days. Uh, and the main net is currently in the high 50s in terms of current cycle. So here's just an example of how long these bakers have been baking for. So here's a newer baker, uh, I bake Tezos. And also we have the expected ROI. This is going to be based on the past uh, 10 cycles, the efficiency rating and the fee percentage all factored in. So you'll see here, uh, Tez Milk, for instance, is the highest expected ROI based on their uh, efficiency rating over the last 10 cycles. And of course, we have the efficiency column here. This is important because as you see, some bakers are actually uh, offline. This could mean that they're missing blocks, missing endorsements. So you wouldn't actually get your full expected rewards uh, by delegating to these bakers. So good to see efficiency rankings here. And you see some of the top ones, My Tezos Baking being the top efficiency over 100%. That might mean they're stealing uh, blocks or stealing endorsements. It's a good term. Uh, it just means that the original uh, person that was selected to bake or endorse uh, for that action, didn't fulfill their responsibility. So it just gets passed to the next person. I guess, therefore, their efficiency rating would go up if they obtained uh, verification for those specific incidences. So it's a good thing that they have a high efficiency rating in their so-called stealing. Uh, <laughs> here we have a capacity rating. So this is important to note as well, uh, because the capacity, if, if a baker is over-delegated, you're actually not going to get rewarded. So you want to make sure you're delegating to a baker uh, that still has room left. So you'll see here, many are over-delegated. You would, again, not want to de delegate to these services. Uh, they have reached capacity. Um, so each baker must have a certain amount of XTZ in deposit uh, for different requirements. And as they get more people delegating to them, um, they need more and more. So if they reach a certain point where too many people are delegating and they don't have enough XTZ in deposit, well, then they're going to be considered over-delegated and they wouldn't be able to meet certain requirements to bake or endorse, therefore losing out rewards for those uh, that contribute to the over-delegation factor. So do not want to delegate to the red, do want to delegate to the green. So these are all factors you're going to need to consider uh, when evaluating which baker you would like to place uh, your delegation towards maybe even country here, you'd want to pick something, say, from the USA. Here you can see that there are some, uh, such as Hayek Lab, uh, Crypto Delegates. Uh, we have many here, Shake and Bake, te you know, Tesori. Uh, but they also, you would also want to do further research just because they're open doesn't mean uh, you should delegate to them. So you must, again, factor all of these different uh, aspects and ratios into your decision on who to select for a good baker. Uh, just go further into detail. If you click on any of these bakers, you'll see 
a nicely aligned statistical dashboard here for you. So they have a total stake and capacity, available capacity. So if you had a half a million XTZ line around, you wanted to delegate to someone, well, Hayek Lab could actually uh, afford to take you into their bakery. As you'll see here, they have capacity for you. And they have a great efficiency rating, you know, nearly 100%. And your expected return ROI, return on interest here over the uh, the per annual rate. So that's above 5.5%. You're getting close to 7.5% by delegating towards Hayek Lab. And you'll see here the uh, more d data. So we have a payout interval, uh, no sign up required. If there was, it would be listed here. The fee again, 15%. And here's a chart in their efficiency rating. So you can see, are they actively participating currently and how are they doing? Because if, if they went offline, uh, they would obviously be missing out on rewards and you would suffer based on that as well. So it's important to note uh, any kind of delegation, you're not actually losing control of your XTZ as long as you're placing them in a KT1 account that is under your management, under your uh, base TZ address as manager, then these are completely in your control. You can change your delegate you can change your baker at any point in time by just uh, repointing the KT1 address to a different delegate. So don't be afraid to move your delegation. If you've accidentally delegated to someone who's over-delegated or if your uh, baker has gone offline for any reason, you can come to mytezosbaker.com to reassess uh, which good baker you should choose. And also they do have a blacklist here. You can see uh, there is a few addresses here that have been identified as bad so they have listed here so make sure you're not delegating to these addresses and there's also a graveyard here of looks like bakers that have gone offline or their old nodes so do not delegate to these as well so very good information there's also a few more areas i wanted to show you so if you just click into one of these baking addresses uh they also have a rewards calculator so if you just click that say you have a hundred thousand xtz we'll just put that in for example, you, they actually allow you to choose a few different bakers and they give you the comparison of uh, different, let's see, ROI based on those bakers in your initial investment. And they break it down into estimated reward in USD and XTZ. So that's pretty cool to see what you could be doing with the different bakers there in comparison. And if you wanted to get your baker listed on MyTezos Baker, you can just email them at info at MyTezosBaker.com. And of course, they have Twitter and Facebook support as well there's also a knight's glossary section that you can go in if you had any uh concern for definition on any of the terms that we went over in this video or any of the terms you see listed here certainly you can check out their glossary page and find out more information all right guys so again this is the website mytezosbaker.com and you must factor in all of these statistics into making your decision on how to choose a baker all right, everyone, I hope you enjoyed watching this video and found mytezosbaker.com to be a useful and essential tool in picking your Tezos Baker. Please feel free to give this video a like, a share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Happy baking!